busy people getting fit in Fulcher, Texas. Our aim is to help you look better, feel better, and perform better as quickly as possible. I'm your host, Brian White, with Blue Eagle Fitness and Nutrition. Welcome. Hey, what's up, Clancy? Hey, how's it going today? I see you're outside. I'm outside. It is 70 degrees outside, but it is December 12th. So because it is December 12th, you have a question that uh, you've been getting asked and you wanted us to talk about. I have. I've been getting asked a lot lately about how do I stay healthy during the holidays, during this time period that we're in, when everyone around me is getting sick? And how do I stay healthy during that? Yeah, great, great question. Great question. When we think about uh, holidays, but also it being cold outside, right? That's why we call it, I'm getting cold, because it usually happens when it is cold outside. So let's talk about that. Um, it is not the change in temperature. It is not because it is cold outside that we get sick. Think about what, um, well, let's start at the beginning. We get sick because we are in a closed environment with a lot of people and we start exchanging germs. People are coughing. People are coughing. Um, and even if they're not coughing, you know, they may have germs that they're not necessarily sick from because their immune system has been able to fight it off. But those germs are still around. They're not completely killed off yet. And then they're breathing out. And if you're... In a, you know, you've got 50 people at a house party, you're going to be breathing the same air as other people, which we learned in 2020 uh, when we had a CO2 monitor, right? And when it turned red, it, you knew that you were breathing other, people, other people's air and we could, or, you know, before it turned red, when it turned yellow, we could open up the doors, uh, let wind carry out, refresh the air, basically recirculate it and start over. But we don't do that. You know, when you go to a house party, you're inside with 50 other people. Right. Or in an airplane. Or an air. Uh, you know, airplanes a little different. Uh, it's actually more from the airport usually. But the airplane, because they are recirculating and cleaning the air. Um, and we know that because people aren't, you know, people um, fly regularly throughout the year. Um, and there isn't a, a spike in illness just because we've flown. So um, do you feel like it'd be more you'd be more likely to get sick at a house party than on an airplane from an airplane? One hundred percent. Okay. That makes me feel better because I'm getting on a plane Monday. No, so I was no, just no. wondering. No, um and airplanes <clears throat> go to great lengths to clean and purify their air because the mm -hmm. last thing that industry needs, I mean, if if ten percent of the people who ever got on an airplane got off the airplane sick, you know, that would cripple the industry. So they do a they mm -hmm. they go to great lengths to purify the air that they recirculate in the plane. Makes me feel a lot better knowing that because I'm always in there like wiping everything down and telling my kids don't touch anything. Just try to, you know, put your seatbelt on with your elbows. <laughs> <laughs> That's one idea. That's one That's idea. really hard to do. That doesn't work, by the way. But when you're, okay, so you're at a holiday party, Clancy, and what is the one thing that you can pretty much guarantee almost everyone is doing at this holiday party? Eating and drinking. Okay. Less on the eating, but what's that second thing? Drinking. Drinking. And, uh, Basically, the number one thing or the first thing that alcohol does, as soon as you consume any alcohol, your liver prioritizes um, metabolizing the alcohol. Uh, that's why alcohol, it's another reason why alcohol leads to weight gain faster than eating or consuming other beverages or food. Um, alcohol also reduces the strength of your immune system. So when you're at a house party, Bummer. breathing, breathing <laughs> the air of 50 other people and consuming usually copious amounts of alcohol, further reducing your immune system, we have now introduced a recipe uh, that leads to leads to sickness. Also, so I, oh. I was going to add one other thing. I'm on, on that same topic. Most people around this time of year. <laughs> are not drinking the amount of water they drink, like say in the summertime when it's hot. So I'm always reminding my people um, in the classes, you know, it's cold outside. You may not feel thirsty, but don't forget yeah. to drink because dehydration is a big deal right now. I think yeah. that also is a problem, you know? You're, uh, you are absolutely correct. So we have dehydration and we also have, you know, think about the food that we are eating uh, at these parties. It is not the most nutrient 
rich food. Now we had a we had our now, Christmas party last weekend, and the we had I think we had a couple of fruit salads that were absolutely delicious uh, and full of nutrients. But that is not the case at most parties. Okay, we also had a killer buffalo chicken uh, dip. We had the killer buffalo chicken and, dip, um, and we uh, had bacon wrapped dates. Oh back at bacon wrapped dates. Dates. Yeah, I had about seventeen of those too. But I did not have any fruit salad, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> but that buffalo chicken dip, I did get the recipe for that. So love it. Anyway, love it. But yes, you're correct. We don't. We're not. It's not like we're eating salads and things like we do in the warm months. You know, I'm eating salad every day when it's warm outside. Now I'm eating bacon wrapped dates. Well, the bacon wrapped dates I would actually recommend. Um, but Those we want to. We want to stay. It's not that we want to stay away, but uh, any when we start overindulging in processed foods that are high in sugar, which again has to take extra effort for our bodies to metabolize. Uh, and we're consuming alcohol and we're breathing in the air of 50 of our closest friends at a house party. This is how we, uh, one of the main reasons why we get sick as often as we do in the winter months. And I'd like to throw in, in this mix, stress of the holidays. Okay. That's like a stress. Super you know, the more stress we have, the the further it reduces our immune system. Yeah. Cause people are like, Oh man, I'm about to be around my family for about seven days straight. <laughs> it might contribute to some stress. Yeah. So what can we do? What can we do to uh, help ward off or prevent as much of the sickness as possible? What do you think? That is the million dollar question. I would say drink water. Okay. Drink, drink make water. sure that we're drinking our water. Yep. Right. And we had a previous episode, maybe just two or three episodes back on drinking more water. So roughly 100 to 120 ounces a day for most people. Uh, what else? Oh, people always ask me, does iced tea count? Always get that question. Does iced tea count? Uh, okay. So if you're asking me, then uh, iced tea to me counts as long as it has a limited or no sugar in it. Okay. All right. And, so, and uh, caffe- right, overly caffeinated. But So two things that make... Um, water, uh, not water. Uh, one is, uh, <laughs> yeah, one is sugar. Well, there are three things, sugar, alcohol, and caffeine. The more sugar, the more alcohol, the more caffeine that are involved in your quote unquote water, the less it is actually water. Right. right. So if right you're tail. talking about one bag of green tea, I count that as water, black tea, it's water, you know, but when we put in, um, club soda is water. But if in that club soda, we have added 10 grams of sugar and turned it from club soda into a uh, tonic, and then we've put in two shots of vodka, we've now <laughs> gone from, you know, eight ounces of what was club soda water to no, this doesn't count. <laughs> so correct. So people, <laughs> we, you always have to go back to the beginning of what are we trying to accomplish? And most people are trying to do What's the what's the baddest I can be and still be good? Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> how much alcohol can how much alcohol can I add to this club soda and still count it as water? You know, I mean, when the right. real question is, what can I do to guarantee results? Right. right? And that is drinking 100 to 120 ounces or let's call it 80 80 to 120 ounces of pure water yeah. a day. Yeah, right? yeah. And then what else can we do? We can make sure that we're eating our our whole unprocessed foods. We can make sure that we are eating lean meat and that we are eating um, fruits and vegetables throughout the day because those are full of phytonutrients and our vitamins and our minerals. Okay. uh, On another little question. Do bananas make you fat? No, bananas not make you fat. Thank you. Okay, next. Bananas do not make you fat. Do not, not and make if somebody fat. wants to challenge me on it, love it. Let's have that conversation. Here, and here. I guarantee you it will lead to you go on a diet of lots and lots of bananas, but you can only eat whole unprocessed foods and work out three to five times a week. And when you build muscle and lose weight, I win. Okay, good. So drink water, uh, nutritious whole foods. Nutritious second. whole foods. Bananas don't make us fat. Bananas don't make us fat. Just saying. Adding two uh, shots of vodka to your water means that it's no longer water. <laughs> and pineapple juice and cranberry juice. 
no sorry no yeah we want to stay away from juices <clears throat> right because we've we've if you want the pineapple juice i recommend that you eat pineapple right i just don't recommend juices in general like no, just we, skip we've... it that's right. We've taken out all the good stuff and left sugar water. And unfortunately, exactly. we're not hummingbirds. And we need <laughs> and then that sugar water is now just simple syrup uh, and right. not doing us very much good. Well, one of my guys was drinking a big, tall glass of orange juice every morning thinking this yeah. is healthy. You know, uh, I, healthy. I was I was doing the this exact same thing. I was doing the exact same thing. And then I realized that I, I was drinking uh, two to three times the daily allowance of sugar. And I was getting that all in about five minutes to start <laughs> yeah. my day. And I did that for years and thought yeah. I was being healthy. Well, the TV commercials make it look like it's healthy and good. And right, right. I just don't drink juice at all. It's just not a thing. So I prefer my wine juice at the end of the day. But that's a different <laughs> topic. Yeah. Anyway. So okay. So did we answer your yeah. questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I know this um, is probably a shorter episode, but I think we answered some things that are coming up that people are dealing with right now. And hopefully they will find it helpful. I think so too. Carry your hand sanitizer, kids. I like mine. Got mine right here. It's good. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, you tried it. Okay. A little thing for those of you watching this and not just listening to it, but Clancy's phone <laughs> does fancy things. She makes a heart with her hands and suddenly hearts fly across the screen. And then, oh, give me a thumbs up. Did it go? Yeah, there it there goes. There it is. <laughs> I and she has on. no idea. She can make fire. We saw fireworks once. I think that was the first thing, but we don't exactly know what caused them. She I don't know. I got to work on that finger one. Guns, but the finger <laughs> guns aren't working. <laughs> I can't remember what I did on that one. Yeah, that was practice. on a that was on a team call when suddenly she started <laughs> blowing so up our, <laughs> our screens. That was so weird. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Clancy. I appreciate the conversation. All right. Well, thank you, Brian. Okay, talk to you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. You can get every episode of Busy People Getting Fit wherever you listen to your podcast or on YouTube. You can also reach us at busypeoplegettingfit.com. Until next time, thank you for listening. <laughs>